So our relationship to the Church of Sweden is that in the 1850s, like the middle of the 1800s or so, uh, it used to be illegal to actually gather together and read the Bible without a priest being present. But a lot of people started reading the Bible on their own and started to discover that, wow, this is amazing. Out of that was born the evangelical part of the Church of Sweden. It's called EFS. In Swedish, it stands for Evangelis Fosterland Stiftelsen. I always laugh when I say that in Swedish because it's such a long word. Um, in, in English, it's called Swedish Evangelical Mission. So that's what it is. Um, but they don't get really any funding from the Church of Sweden. And Cross Culture, which is part of, of EFS, as it's called here in Sweden, we, we don't receive any funds from EFS. We don't receive any help from EFS in the, in the sense of financial responsibility or anything. We don't owe them anything either. But we are part of EFS and because EFS is the independent part of the Church of Sweden. Each group is also kind of independent on their own. Um, so even though I am ordained in the Church of Sweden and we have to adhere to the handbook and I'm still under the bishop um, of this diocese, Uppsala diocese, um, we're kind of pretty much so independent. Uh, financially we are. We have to raise our own finances for the pay for the rent and things like that. Um, and we do have a relationship to the Church of Sweden. We're not against them. We're not their enemy or anything like that. But we are very evangelical, and so it means that we're not going to get very much support, unfortunately. And I hate to say that, but that's true. Um, so that's that. So now, the questions you can ask yourself. Um, think about it, pray about it, and see if God is leading you in this direction. Feel free to ask more questions if you have other questions. Feel free to talk to one of us in the leadership team. Talk to some other than people, the members in Cross Culture. If you'd like to know more, go to our homepage. Ask questions. We'll definitely make another video and answer all the questions that come in. Thank you again for watching. Thank you that you've come so far and being interested in Cross Culture, either as a member or as a partner. May the Lord God bless you and may he keep you. May he watch over you and give you wisdom. And may you be open to hearing from him as he leads and guides you to finding a community where you can serve, where you can grow, and where you can make a difference. Be blessed. Thank you very much. Bye. Mm -hmm.